In this video, we are going to show the installation of the side rails part D on the bed frame. Grab the side rail and place it on the side of the bed frame as shown here. Use a wood clamp and clamp the side rail to the further end of the bed frame. Make sure it is flush with the further end of the bed frame, as well as underneath. Note the further end will be fully visible when the bed is open, and therefore it is important to make sure the side rail and the further end part C are flush as much as possible. Now clamp the header end of the side rail to the bed frame, making sure it is flush with the bed frame underneath. The lower pivot plate should make contact with the bed header part B. The header end of the side rail does not have to be 100% flush with the header part B. This side of the bed frame will face the wall or the floor when the bed is closed, therefore it will not be visible. Mark two equally spaced pencil marks between each of the frame struts on the frame side. Note you may use wood glue between the side rail and the bed frame, although it is not required. Now drive two 1 and a quarter inch wood screws between the frame struts where you place the pencil marks to secure the side rail to the bed frame side. As you drive the screws, make sure to keep checking to see if the side rail and the bed frame are flush underneath. Remove the clamps. Repeat the same process to attach the other side rail to the bed frame. 